And of course, we're all excited for this run coming up as well. We have $25 from Rayla who says, thank you for everything you do, GDQ. This event brings me so much joy every year. Let's hit that Pokemon incentive. And while we're working on that, we are ready. So as we join a pantheon of incredible Mario magnificence for Mario Super Mario Maker 2, let me hear it for this relay race. Let's -a go. Alrighty, alrighty. First things first, let me get this introduction. Uh, I'm Real B. Chin. I've been in the Mario Maker 2 community for a few years now as a maker and a content creator, and I am beyond excited and truly honored to provide you all a little commentary on this sure-to-be incredible gameplay. And the best part of this whole experience is I get to share it with my best friend in the whole wide world. Oh, yeah, we are definitely friends. Yeah, yeah, best friends, right? Yeah. I'm Big Red Boy, a.k.a. the Large Crimson Lad, and I'm a level creator in the Mario Maker community. I was responsible for curating the level lineup for this race. And three fun facts about me is I'm big, I'm red, and I'm a boy. But enough about me. Let's introduce these racers. Woo, uh, absolutely. We have our two teams here in debate of the age-old question, what's behind the mushroom on Toad's head? Is that just a fun little hat he wears? Or is that actually part of his facial anatomy? Uh, up first for Team Face. Arguably the best SMW and Mario Maker 2 hybrid player in the game right now. She's 50% Yoshi, 50% human, 100% Kaizo Goat. Give it up for Shoujo! All right, there you go. The second member of Team Face, the mad scientist, he's a galaxy brain mastermind, but hand him a troll level and he'll get played like a fiddle. Carl Sagan! Alrighty, this next runner needs no introduction, but I'm gonna give him one anyway or else I'd be out of a job. The godfather of Kaizo himself, he's made some of the toughest Kaizo lovers ever in the game. Put your hands together for Pangea Penga! All right, now we switch over to the team that believes the mushroom on Toad's head is simply a hat. Starting it off, we have the musical spirit of the Mario Maker community, the king of the green screen, the porcelain prince, Tanuki Dan. Woo! <laughs> All right, I know some of you in chat might be wondering yourselves, where is the bald man? Well, look no further. I actually had to check with the judges to see if it was legal for this man to race, let alone step outside his house with a head that shiny and that smooth. Everybody, give it up for our, 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 our return. Now for the anchor of Team Hat. This Aussie will show you who's bossy. He's the Lord <laughs> Commander of the Nerds, and there's no doubt he'll win this race if he just does better. Give it up for Just Cook! Fantastic. All right, really quickly before we get started, let me go over this event format. Before uh, we get this going, we have here nine never before seen Kaizo levels made specifically for this race. Each team is competing to see who can clear these levels the fastest. The first team to beat a level will receive one point, and the team with the most points coming into the final stage will be awarded a head start time bonus. Big Red Boy, who do you think is going to take this today? You know, I think Team Face has a solid lineup, especially with that heavy hitter Shoujo. Wow, you know, that's so funny. I was kind of thinking that uh, Team It's a Hat has kind of got the lead today. I'll tell you what, I got 50 bucks on my team. All if right. Team It's a Hat takes it, you donate 50. And if Team Face takes it, I'll donate 50. I'm totally down. Let's do that's it. That's awesome. And anybody else in chat that wants to get on board with that and pick your favorites and throw some donuts up, please let us know. I think with all that being said, Without it's about time ado. to get this race going. What do you guys think? Let's count it down. All righty. Five, four. four. Three, two, one, go! Alrighty, this first level is by a creator named Mang in the 3D World style. Absolutely awesome creator. Can't wait to see what they have for us. Yeah. All right, both teams off to a nice solid start here. Yeah, Mang is a great creator that takes simple machines and uh, Makes an entire level around a simple gimmick like this. Solid first start. Aura is crushing right now with the reeds. 
And that's a checkpoint right away for Team wow. It's Ahead. Good wow. Lord. And he dies right there. All right, Shoujo's up now. So you might not know this, but the thwomps underneath are hitting exclamation point blocks, which are launching the spring and some of their thwomp contraptions underneath. Oh, okay. Lava. A little bit of magic there happening underneath behind the scenes. Yep. Awesome. All right, Carl's still up here trying to grab that checkpoint. Tough to keep up with some of those thwomps under the lava like that. They are going at light speed. I love the use of those dash pads. Going at super high speeds. The coin trails there are really nice to have an indication of where to land and where to go into the Absolutely. air. Absolutely. And oh, and Aura grabs himself in the up pipe there. Maybe another checkpoint coming up, hopefully. That's GDQ. Oh, so close it was inside. And Panga grabs a checkpoint for uh, Team It's a Face here. Oh. All right, Shoujo's back at it again here. Let's see if she can pull up here. Team it's nice a hat. Is she going to pop up in the up pipe here? There we go. All right, let's see if Shoujo can clutch this up pipe for Team Face. Oh, so tough, so tough. Remember, these players have never seen these levels before, and some of these are really, really tough to react to setups. There's Check that checkpoint. checkpoint. Nice. Let's go, Aura. All right, Panga's back up with a chance here. It's a nice mix of bouncing Ooh. enemies and springs. Barely catching the edge of that spring there from Aura. Couldn't quite keep up with it that time. All right, let's see if Panga can get this up pipe and grab a checkpoint for Team Face. There we go. Oh, just overshot. Team It's a Hat, a little bit behind. You know, and even when these guys are uh, taking a death out here, there's something really important to keep in mind. They're gaining knowledge for their team so they can keep up with what's coming up in the next setup, potentially. Absolutely. So it's really important to keep track of what your teammate's doing so you can try to gain yourself a little bit of an edge when your turn is up. All right, let's see if Shoujo can gain some progress for Team Face here. Nice pullback on that long jump there. Oh, a little stall section. Ooh, look at the ground pound cancels on that. Effortless. Wow. Effortless. Off the oh, he's the reads. Oh, no, oh. the pullback. <laughs> Such a good run. So much information and progress gain. And here we go. Hats coming into the same section. See if they can do something with it. Arthur pulls off the pullback. Oh, see, that Thwomp is blocking it. Oh, he goes oh. back for the save to kill it, and he's in! Nice, nice. Is, is that the W? Uh -oh. The rarely used oh, enemy. No. Amazing. There we go. Nice clutch finish for team. It's a hat. The Hammer Bro is RNG. Anything could have happened. Great reads, great reads. And that's a point for blue team there. It's a hat. Let's go. Excellent. Alrighty, this next level coming up by Sauce Powder, uh, one of my all-time favorite makers. If you ever want to catch one of his levels, just scroll through the popular page and you'll be sure to run into him. This man has been putting out banger after banger for years now. Can't wait to see what he brought for the GDQ race. Yeah, he's known for making really cool bounce levels with uh, simple contraptions, and uh, he does it the best out of anybody. I Absolutely. I think. Are you guys ready to count us down on this one? Three, two, one, run it! Cobalt Cave. Excellent name. Absolutely. Great little bit of alliteration there. <laughs> oh, the midair boot setup. Some solid reads going on right now from Juz Cook. That's what I love about Sauce Powder. He makes these midair setups where you're landing the boot like that just looks so effortless. Throw the bomb. Nice. Oh! oh Juz. Just Jojo's got a, a chance to catch up right now for her team. Big Red Boy, do you want to talk about some of these things on screen? These little uh, P-switch blocks and coins and the uh, line tracking? You know, again? I'd What's rather going on not. With these? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, there's, there's a lot happening. Nice, there's Jojo's in the door there. There's just a lot of different... Uh, nice checkpoint. Contraptions on the screen. 
uh, dispensing, you know, different things to land on right at the time you need to land on them. And the coins and the arrows and all these things are just to indicate where to land. Absolutely. A lot of these levels are really tough to read for the very first time, and indicators like this can really help guide a player when they're trying to one-shot some of these really tough sections. And that track box Ooh. with the side missing, that square with the side missing, is a classic indicator of when to throw. Oh, nice oh, timing so with the bullet. Just the up Amazing. Some incredible reads. Uh-oh. What do we got going on here? Oh! There it is. A little... Am I, am I crazy or did Shoujo one-shot the entire level? <laughs> did, did that just happen? Good lord. While we're setting up for this next one, can we sneak a few quick donations in? Absolutely, I would love to hear some. Awesome, we have $150 from Dynamite who says, Let's go Mario Maker! The race of Mario Maker 1 back in 2017 is what introduced me to GDQ in the first place, so always hyped to see it ran. Good luck to my boys Carl and Juz. And we have $79 from Webcrawl who says, shout out to Archer and his awesome community, looking sharp and stoic as ever. I admire your sportsmanship and I'm sure it'll shine through during the race. Go bald man, heart. And we're at 63,000 out of that 200,000 Pokemon incentive. Please keep those donations coming in. Awesome, awesome. Amazing. Alrighty, our next level up here is the uh, Super Mario World style, which is one of my favorites, made by your very own Big Red Boy. This is Galoomba Garbage Shoots. And uh, yeah, let's count them down here, guys. Three, two, one, run it! <laughs> All right. Let's see Both teams trying to figure out what's happening here. Nice, looks like they got it. So there's a lot of contraptions happening underneath the stage that allow the on-off to be triggered when the Galumba hits uh, a seesaw. There's a whole bunch of stuff underneath there, but... Okay, cool. So basically every time they throw a Galumba in there, it's triggering an on-off switch to let them kind of navigate through the, win the level here a little bit better. Yep, exactly. Right on, right on. Allows them to Just progress. Cooks reads right now, incredible. Got nice. caught up a little bit on the spiny, but oh man. Oh, I get it. So that's the garbage shoot they're throwing the glue with. Exactly. Oh, okay, okay, okay. A little bit of lore here for the level. Very cool. Oh. Nice reads. Nice reads. Absolutely. If you want to throw us another uh, donation here real quick, Charbonne, that would be awesome. Oh, of course. We have $10 from Gamma Ray who says, Looking forward to this Mario Relay race. These are always some of my favorite runs. Oh, that up throw there. I know Panga's a D-pad player. He probably got caught with a phantom up throw there. He would never do that on purpose. <laughs> we got time for a little bit more, Char Bunny, if you want to hit us with a couple. Absolutely. We have some support coming in for these teams. We have $11.10 from Splee, who says, So honored to be included in the Kaizo and Mario Maker community. It's been beyond a pleasure to be here in person with you all here at GDQ. Good luck to all the runners, but let's go, team. It's a face. Woo! In the up pipe. There you go, Shoujo. Nice checkpoint. Nice check. Oh, both teams hit checkpoint at the same time here. It's They're neck, neck and neck. And neck. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. You know what I got to say, Big Red Boy, about your level design? I feel like you really have mastered the use of auto-scroll. Uh, it's always just such great pacing, well, uh, great good flow. It really helps uh, spawn in the enemies at just the right time, too. Yeah, I try to keep everything visible with the camera. And You're nailing it, my man. Camera work. Love to see it. Nice reads from Juz again. Oh, some good progress here. Yeah, absolutely. Team, it's a hat. Let's see if he can pull it out here. Ooh, oh, close. Miss spin jump. Yeah, there was no Z indicator there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Char Bunny, you got any more donations for us? Oh, do we have donations? Of course we do. We have $50 from Siege who says, a haiku. Mario Maker, is it a hat or a face? I think it's a race. It's amazing. <laughs> that was beautiful. We also have $250 from Mai Komagata, Ooh. who says, Mario Maker was the game that brought me to this amazing community. So glad to see this race at GDQ. Oh, off the screen. Absolutely. Or oh, let's see. Or I can keep it up. Ooh, oh. that auto scroll just caught up with them a little bit too much there. These vertical sections can be very tough. They're usually kind of hard to, to read. You just got so much coming at you. 
And we're used to just going left to right so much. Racers controlling their jumps, trying to minimize the time between leaving the ground and landing on it. <laughs> All right, let's see what Panga can do here. Oh. Ooh, the Thwomp just smashed this Galoomba. I think we got time for another donation or two if you got one for us. Absolutely. We have $50 from Amos Spiritus who says, let's get that Pokemon bonus run. And that's at 67,000 out of the needed 200,000. We're rocketing towards that. Keep that support coming in strong. And there's plenty of donation trains to catch. We have $5 oh, so from Anonymous so who says, a donation train now arriving. Please stand clear of the edge of the platform. Choo choo. <laughs> Bring him on, guys. Love to hear that. All right, looks like both teams are making pretty steady progress through here. Looks like they're both sort of getting to the uh, the apex of the level here. Oh, Juz with the fall. Maybe he can save it. Oh, the recovery. They're always just fighting, keeping up this auto scroller. Oh, wow. Arl with some Oh, progress. the up throw from it's a face. Ooh. Oh, they see the door. They both see the door. Yep. Who's going to get in there first? The end is imminent. <laughs> Let's find out. Audience, I want to hear you. If you are team, it's a face. <laughs> and let's try this again. Who here is supporting It's a Hat? Woo! Let's go, hat. Save me some money. <laughs> Do you got any more donations at all for us, Char Bunny? I do. We have the audience rating it as well. We have $50 from It's a Face saying, It's a Face. And we have $50 <laughs> from Powdered Milk Man who says, It's a hat, hat, hat. Please Ooh, keep made it to the door there, but did not quite get that last pink coin. Arthur has got it, though. Is he going to be able to clutch out that? Ooh, Ooh in, in the door. Is that GG or do we got a checkpoint here? I'm seeing the SGDQ art. One final checkpoint. Oh! oh! Just the oh. You cannot get this man. He has seen too many. He's seen he has it. seen he too saw many. It coming a mile away. Why else would you give him a checkpoint before the door like that? What a legend. <laughs> what a legend. What a great race. That was so neck and neck. It just came down to that one pink coin at the end there. That was awesome. I wanted that so bad. I know. You tried. You tried. <laughs> Alrighty. Up next here, we have a level from Donkey Mint. Uh, this is a really underutilized uh, level style. This is uh, the Super Mario Bros. 2 mechanic. You're going to see uh, Mario acting in a very different way where he can actually ride on top of enemies and pick them up and throw them and land on them again. So we'll see what Donkey Mint has chefed up for us here today. Are you guys ready to check this out? Let's count it down here, guys. Three, two, two one. one. Run it. <laughs> Donkey Man is known for making some of the most wild contraptions here. I don't know how he makes them work and make them so consistent. Yeah. Panga seems to have figured out that jump there. And not only are you picking them up, and you, you have to throw them and use them and land on them. It's a pretty cool level. Yeah, this is definitely one of the, uh, the coolest SMB2 levels I've ever seen. Nice read from Shoujo there. Knowing when to hold it and when to throw it. Exactly, he knows when to walk away. <laughs> this is definitely one of the more tech-heavy levels that we're going to see here today. I was a big fan of it, but it definitely gave me some trouble back in the judging. This is definitely going to test the player's uh, knowledge of the game, as well as their platforming and Kaizo abilities. Star Bunny, do you have any more donos for us while these guys are working their way through this puzzle of a level? Oh, we always have more donations. The support has been fantastic. We have $25 from Cynthia Zero, who says, it's amazing to be able to see these great players and Mario Maker 2 live. Good luck and have fun. Go Team Face. Let's go. Thank you wow. so much, Cynthia. Thanks, Cynthia. And we have $25 from Trip Draws, who says, wow, 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 how fun this run is to watch. Everyone is super awesome, and I'm super proud of everyone. P.S. Go Team Hat. 
Panga with some incredible reads right now. Super Look at this progress read. here. Can he figure out this ending? Oh, oh and in, he the door. It back in the door. Oh, you love to see it. There's the first checkpoint. He took a little damage there, but still locking in that checkpoint for his team. So now they got section one out of the way. That's a huge advantage. But you know, anyone can just come through and one shot some of these sections. So while it's so great to have a checkpoint, you know, it's never you're never really totally safe in a race like this. Nice read, nice read. Shoujo picking it up here for him. Oh. Trying for the mid-air strats, yeah. Getting some knowledge for her team there. Mm -hmm. Just exploring it. Sometimes it's good to, you know, to run out the uh, the damage boosting you can just to see what's next for the rest of the level there. All right, let's see if It's a Hat can pull up here and get that checkpoint. I'm rooting. You got any more donos for us, Char Bunny? Yes, we have $5 from Octopus T who says, It's a hat! And we have $50 from Katie who says, It's a face! It's a face! <laughs> the donations have been very competitive between these two teams. We also have $25 from the Penguins of Mayhem who say, Let's go! Much love to Dan from all the Leaf Gang. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm loving to see the rivalry in chat here. Landing on these uh, dry bones in midair with the SMB2 mushroom is pretty hard. Oh, so close to getting there. And the Shoujo's got a shot at the up pipe here. Oh, she clutches it first try. Awesome. If anyone can do it, it's Shoujo. And she's got the second checkpoint for her team. Looks like we're entering the vertical section yep. here. Final section. Man, the reads. I'm telling you, she's one of the best out right now. A cool thing, too. About oh, the, ooh, little slid right off of there. it. You'll notice on these dry bones, you can throw them against the spring, and you have a moment where they don't interact with you, so the sprites will pass right through you, and you don't yep. take any damage. And it's something you have to be aware of and take into account when you're doing this level. And when you're jumping on these things, the, the momentum's a little weird, and you only have a single tile. It can get a little tricky. Yeah, absolutely. It's a moving platform that you're trying to land on and then throw and interact with, with momentum. It can be very, yep. very tough. So it's super impressive to see the progress these teams have made already. All right, Orator is definitely going to be clutching this door out for his team. No problem. There Amazing. you go. Puts him right back in there. A fun little thing right there. Big Red Boy, can you tell us what was going on with that muncher sliding that smashed them? Oh, that's just a little mechanic so they don't have to wait until their power-ups are, you know, completely gone to go on to the next person. Yeah, that's a fun quality of life thing that some creators will put in levels, that especially on a vertical one, you don't want to wait through all the damage to go through on your multiple power-ups, so you can just kill yourself quickly and move on to the next part there, so you can get another uh, run in. Uh, Shar Bunny, you got one more for us while we're waiting? Absolutely. We have $25 from Empire Ship who says, hat, face, in the end, all that really matters is, Toad's just a fun guy. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. I mean, I'd I keep going with those donations if you have them. Absolutely. We have $64 from Alvin Riggs, who says, let's go hat. And we have $25 from Slaughtermouse5, who says, one more dono for a great relay. It's clearly a hat, but still, go Team Face. <laughs> oh, Panga making some absolutely insane progress right now. Oh. He almost picked him up there. Oh, oh nice, nice read. He's read. in the in horizontal the pipe. pipe. And that's going to be the level there. Way to go, it's a face. We are neck and neck here. These teams are tied up two to two. You love to see a good race like this. How exciting. These teams are cruising through these levels right here. Just goes to show you how good they all are. All right, the next level we have up is from a creator named Ray67. This is another 3D world level, if I remember correctly. Spinny, spinny dispensary. Ray hasn't made a level in quite a long time, but we pulled him out of retirement here to make a level especially for this competition. And uh, I'm so excited to see what he's got in store for us. If you guys are ready, let's count it down. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> All right. Again, this is 3D World. You get clear pipes. It's something exclusive to this theme. I wish we had them in more themes. The clear pipe mechanic is so fun. It's like a little teleportation device. But you still have to time yourself going through them. That's important to it as well. Mm -hmm. And Ray uses them really well here to time he really does. the uh, shell to come right underneath you when you need it. Really nice reads by Carl there, stalling there to get himself in that. Some good progress for Team Face. Mm. A missed twirl. 
You got any more donations for us there, Shar Bunny? Of course we do. We have $50 from Tracken who says, good luck to the racers and thank you to everyone who put in an enormous amount of work for this race, as well as GDQ for all you do. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, oh, nice. What a clutch run from Panga. Checkpoint just like that. Oh, missed the long jump. Same mechanic we saw earlier where you can use those question mark blocks to destroy enemies if they're sitting on them to help yourself get access further in the level there. Very fun mechanic you can do in uh, almost any style, really. This level has a mix of min and max jumps with some controlled as well. Great reads from Shoujo here. Another good use of coin indicators. Oh, cool section. Absolutely crushing the quadruple nice. up pipes there. Oh, and the read in the, oh, in the pipe. Barely got in there. Those up pipes can be so tough to get into. Nice little ground pound the, cancel there. The last section of the level. Nice there little control Carl jumps. Working the, uh, working the little uh, shell train there to get himself over to that up pipe. Ray is so good at making where it's not necessarily that you have one chance to land on every enemy. You kind of get a moment to think and catch your breath and see what's happening yep. and plan accordingly. Some and, neutral. You know, yep, exactly. Great movement by Panga there. Oh, oh. little wall kick there. Sent him oh. into the dirt. We have some alternate takes coming in from the chat here. We have $25 from Darugon who says it's a helmet. And we have $50 from Candy Bellcat who says it's not a face or a hat, it's hair. Oh, wow. You know, I never even considered that. that oh, nice. In the up pipe there by right Just well. Cook. Like I said, you know, they're both on the same section here. Team, it's a face. Definitely oh, a little bit going more going for nice. a little skip. Ooh. Oh! Almost caught that ball jump to get in there. But yeah, it's anybody's game, honestly. Anybody can clutch out some of these with how good these players are and how great their reads are. All right, Panga's hitting the stall section here, it looks like. Kind of want to see Juz's speed strat again. Yeah, that was really well done. And now the flag nice holds open. Stall. Oh, in there. Barely gets the twirl nice, over. Nice, Panga. Nice. Woo. Very clutch play. Very clutch play. Nicely done, team. It's a face. Aura trying to close it out as well while he can here, just for the posterity. Let him oh, know. Oh, nice. There it is. There it is. Fantastic. Just a testament that both of these teams are pretty equally skilled. Such close races. Uh, Big Red Boy, do you want to talk about this next level coming up here? Uh, sure. This is by Nickabuzz. This is a... Uh, he's a... What is it? A... For your Mario Maker level creator, um, he has. Uh, I'm sorry, you can go. <laughs> <laughs> no, no worries at all. Um, there is definitely uh, the X year Mario Maker anniversary creation series that's been going on for a long time. Nickabuzz is definitely a prominent maker in that series, um, and he came back to make a level for us as well. Um, this is the SMW style, faster than blasters, and I think we should just jump right into it. Whenever you guys are ready, here, three, two, one, go. go. Oh, I love to hear the rivalry back there. Let us know, you guys. Let us know. This level is so cool to me. This uses auto scroll and a cannon to push the players. And so it's kind of a platforming level, but they need to grab onto these vines to make their way through and dodge and jump on these enemies to get through. Yep, these vines are used as a way to switch sw uh, the jump state from normal jump to spin jump. Yeah, so they can land on some of these this level. enemies yeah. and spike tops. Another thing that's really interesting here, you'll notice that the player is being pushed by and interacting with the cannon, but it's somehow passing through the ground tiles and the enemies yep. seamlessly. Uh, Big Red Boy is a master of contraptions and tech in this game. Can you tell us what's happening there to make this possible? Well, it seems that, and this is just my best guess, that the uh, launcher is inside of a clown car. Oh. And that's why it's able, it's on a different layer and it's able to pass through the solid with like the that. Clutch nice, pipe. nice. That's a great explanation. I would have never thought to use that. And then right behind him is Panga in there as well. These teams are back to back, neck and neck on this thing here. Aura still going with the one shot. Panga as well. Amazing, good reads. Oh, this is so nice. I love to see two competitors going like this. Wow. Oh, we see another... Oh, so close there. That's a tough one to land on. 
Great run from Aura, though. You got to respect it. Oh, oh Panga, too. Thing. Just pixels off. That's such a tough read to make happen, honestly. I love the pacing of this level. It's so quick and so fun. It's such a simple concept, honestly. Yep. But it's done in such a fun, such a fun way. And I think that's really just kind of the beauty about level design. Making cool, fun, interesting setups. Making them simple and readable and enjoyable, you know? Mm-hmm. While we're running back through this, I have a $5,000 donation. Oh! From, right? From Dan Salvato, who says, here is a list of things Carl has learned. <laughs> <laughs> That's Classic. incredible. Thank you so much, Dan. That is a massive donation there. It's awesome. Speaking of Carl and what he's learned, let's see if he can uh, glean any information here and clutch out the uh, horizontal pipe on this one. There's a shot. Oh, and he Get hits it. Great job. Looks like he has learned a thing or two. All right, he's on checkpoint two yep. now. And the we are first seeing boss a fight. Yeah. A little bit of information right behind him. Aura's in there as well, crushing this level, All honestly. Right. Who will do the boss fight? So it looks like this is a little survival section. Yep, yep. Okay, so there's enemies coming in. And, and is that, what Koopaling is that? I can never keep their name straight. I think Larry, that's Lemmy. Larry? I, I can never tell. They all look the same to me. Larry's oh, some seriously wonderful movement here. Panga's running. Oh, that dodge. And we Oof. see the P switch doors in open. There. Is Panga. that it? They, oh. oh, oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was a fake troll and he dodged it anyway. Couldn't have <laughs> killed him if you tried. Absolutely great movement from Panga. Oh, you love to see it. <laughs> nice try, Juz. Nice try. Great run from both teams there. All right, on to the next one. Okay. So here we have a, uh, a level from Kiabik. Now, Kiabik is the curator and the uh, coordinator. Yeah. Coordinator, excuse uh, the me. The Mario Maker anniversary level. Okay, awesome. That's what Nickabuzz is participating in, right? Mm hmm. Okay, fantastic. Now, this is an NSMBU level Speedy Glide Desert Quest. Let's see how the players fare on this one. One more time, guys. You know how it goes. Three, two, two one, go! go! <laughs> All right, this is a new Super Mario Bros. U level. It features the squirrel suit, which allows you to glide and cling onto walls. Yeah, there's so much you can do with this suit. You can glide, you can jump up extra high one time, which takes away your glide a little bit, but then yeah. Yeah, you can cling to walls and keep it running. Both teams just having perfect reads right now, both in the door already. Oh, Ooh, so close. Saving it, Jojo saving grabs it. it, but he gets another shot at it. And that's checkpoint for Team It's a Face. And Dan and is just right behind him. checkpoint for Team It's a Head, right Look behind. at these reads, you guys. This is really tough to do. This is a testament to Kiavik's level design and his indication. Ooh, the save from Shoujo almost. Can nice. Dan figure out what to do here? Oh. Oh, almost clutching it over there. A little bit of information for the team. Yep. Do you got any more donuts for us there, Char Bunny? Absolutely. We have a $50 anonymous donation that says Shoujo won my loyalty with her incredible performance during the SMW relay, so you know I'm rooting for her here. Plus, we all know in our hearts that it's a face. <laughs> we also have $100 from Rackham who says the thrills, the chills, the 2D platforming spills. P.S. Go Team Hat. In that Ooh, up pipe. Aura clutching that up pipe like it's nothing. Uh, now we're Securing in the final. That second checkpoint. Final section, which has the wind as an introduction. Yeah, so this is night desert theme, right? That gives you the uh, the wind mechanic. Yep. Panga right behind them as well here. This can be very tricky to use when you're flying with a suit that uh, you maybe aren't as familiar with. And did you guys notice how landing on the uh, dry bones there can reset your ability to get the big jump again yep. from the squirrel suit? Also, earlier in the level, it was showcasing that grabbing a pro uh, propeller hat uh, also reset your count on the updraft. Oh, awesome, awesome. See, really tough here to work against that wind. Nice. Oh. Oh, threading that needle almost. Panga saving that. Another cool mechanic used in here, if you actually cling on to the cannons, you can hang on to them as they're falling, which can get you down through levels much more quickly. Mm -hmm. And fit through some tight spaces. Exactly, exactly. 
Any more awesome donations for us, Shar Bunny? Absolutely. We have $100 from Triple Cow who says, Poke Train Hype. And we are making our way towards that incentive. We are at $82,000 out of the $200,000 needed for that bonus run. Woo. Please keep selecting nice. that incentive when you donate. We can make it happen. Love to hear it. Oh my gosh, these screens oh. are almost exactly matched here. It's going red through this needle. the tight corridors. Looks like Juz off to take the, the bigger one over there. Shoujo. Busting through the damage boost section. Oh, right bonk. Him. Oh, that's another W for a face. Nice. Nice gameplay. Great reads. Great reads. Absolutely fantastic. That's my team. There, I, you, I know, I know. Come on, Hat. We got this, you guys. But remember, it's anybody's game. It's literally anybody's game because all they're doing right now is scoring points to give themselves a time. Oh, do we, oh, don't delete that. Give them a little time <laughs> advantage on the last level there. <laughs> I see what Carl's trying to do here. All right, all right. Okay, this other level here is a SMW theme. One of my all-time favorite creators, Casper189. This is alt account that he had to get because he has so many levels he's made. And they're all bangers. They are literally every single one of them. I don't think I've ever played a Casper level I didn't like, except uh, maybe that one. Yeah, that um, one's bad. All right, everybody, let's count it down here. Three, two, two one, one, go! One. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, both of them nailing that P-switch jump. That is a, that's not a, an easy jump to land on those P-switches to get a jump like that. What is it, something like a three-frame window I to hit those? I think so. It might be more, but three sounds good to me. <laughs> Look at these reads from Panga. So what, what's going on here? I'm seeing all the cannons fall, Big Red Boy, and it looks like maybe they're being activated somehow? Yeah, or? so the P-switch activates some of them, which allows them to folly slow through the lava, and then also hitting the on-off. Uh, some of them are stacked on top of dotted line blocks that allows them to fall as well. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Really great use of this mechanic, because normally these things would just fall and be off screen immediately, but the lava slows them down and gives the players a chance to quickly land on them before, uh, before they sink forever. Really awesome level design. Really cool mechanic to see put to use in a yeah. race like this. Nice mix of uh, platforming and bouncy bounces. Absolutely. And here we go, I'm seeing another up pipe here. Shoujo in it like in it's there. nothing. Section one, done. Like it's nothing. Oh, look at that read straight to the platform. Yep, no nice indication black, needed. And, and you, that's the kind of uh, kind of read you're only going to see from a super experienced Kaizo player like Shoujo. I just want to ask, can we get a round of applause for the absolute cardio these runners are putting it on stage today? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I kind of think they're making it look a little bit too easy. What do you guys think? Maybe we should untie their shoes and see how they do? <laughs> Add a little bit of uh, excitement to this. Ooh, nice reads by Carl. That's a lot of information for his team there, though. And then Sanuki Dan, a chance to catch it up here and get himself back in that checkpoint. I love the way that the big shells will smash through those hard blocks like that and allow for a bunch of interesting setups to happen. The small shells can't do that. All right, Pango taking a look at the door here. Getting both red coins, there get the you key. Go. He's in, in there. He's in. Fantastic reads. All right, Another final section. Point. Even more level. You know, that's what I always say when I see a Casper level. Thank you. There's more to play. Yep. All right, looks like checkpoint one for uh, Team It's a Hat. Oh, the back and forth swing on that. I love this section. Do you notice how you're just escorting the one chomp through the lava here? That's, that's such a great use of it. Taking one sprite. And honestly, he was probably just running out of sprites at this point because you only get so many you can put down mm -hmm. before the game says, ah, that's too much. Really. 100 is the number. Oh, is that the max? I never know. Another throw indicator there. That way Panga knows to throw that bomb. And another phantom up put for Panga. That's that D-pad player, D player curse, I'm telling you. While we're working through this, we have $250 from D to the fourth. Wow. Woo! Who says, much love and good luck to all my friends in the Maker Racer from over in the SMW community. You are all amazing and so glad to know you all hard. Awesome. D4, the legend. The legend. All right, they're both on the last section here. Team hits the face with a notable advantage with the uh, knowledge. Oh, another another up throw in there, yeah. It'll happen. 
A fun thing to notice about the difference, too, from some of these players that are going back and forth with uh, SMW and Mario Maker. Uh, in Maker, you don't have to point at a direction you want to throw. If you just release, it'll uh, throw whatever you're holding in that direction. But in SMW, you need to you need to hold left or right to let them know, otherwise they just drop it. Yeah, a lot of these back and forth movements seen here, are, you, you kind of have to prepare for them in Maker because it's kind of like you're wearing metal boots compared to SMW. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a lot heavier, a lot less floaty more directed movement. Both teams making some serious progress here, though. Oof. Mm. You got another donation for us, Char Bunny? Absolutely. We have $1,000 from Zig. Zig, let's go. They say, missing all my GDQ friends. Best of luck with the racing. Carl, Shoujo, and Dan. Don't get stuck in a Carl box. <laughs> no promises. We also have $20 from Brute Force, who says, Oi, you are going to crush it, I am sure. Absolutely. And these mm. players are crushing it. These are super tough levels. Um, and they're all just making them look like light work out here. I oh, don't think we've seen a single one not get completed that. yet. The racer's not getting there quite on time. Yeah, this is a tough section. The last section here really makes you work for you. Your movement has to be pretty on point if you want to keep up with this. Oh, it looks like Jim, it's a hat, right has there. it? That, that's some serious progress right there. Okay, Juz, nice reads. Oof, some fantastic control jumps there. Oh! Coming in the surf section. Let's see what Panga does with it. He needed to min bounce tough, there. Tough, tough. You got to look at it, though. See if Shoja can take it up from there. I think we got time for another one, Shar, if you got one for us. All right, we have $25 from Dirkwing who says, good luck to both teams, and I love this community and being a part of it. Carl Sagan42 and Tanuki Dan have been a huge inspiration and a positive light in my life. Carl, I'm a huge fan, and why would Trip do this? Let's go, 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 oh, go! Oh, got him. Speaking of Tanuki Dan, squeaks the W by right ahead of Shoujo. Very nice clutch Excellent finish. Work, oh, you love to see it. Let's go, it's a hat. Oh, that was beautiful. With the fake troll. Okay, okay. So we are coming into the final level here. And like we talked about earlier, there is going to be a time advantage for Team It's a Face. They get a 10 second head start per point ahead they are, which if my math is looking good, five minus three, that's two times 10, that's 20 seconds they're going to get to get a head start on this level. Uh, this level is made by who is it, Tracking? Tracking, yeah. Tracking, yeah. SMW hack has been rumored to come out pretty soon. Oof, I can't wait to see it. I'm loving all the crossover between SMW and Mario Maker. It's a beautiful thing to see. Because, you know, at the end of the day, we're all just one big Mario community, aren't we? Yep. Love that plumber guy. Love that plumber guy. All righty. So, Team It's a Hat, you got 20 seconds to wait before uh, Team It's a Face gets going here. So, uh, let's count t Team It's a Face down. Three, two, two one, one, go! go. And I don't know if you guys saw the SMW relay race, but just because you have a time advantage does not mean you've won necessarily. Anything can happen on these. All right, it's a hat in there now. Link is such an interesting power. There's so much you can do with Link. You can shoot arrows, you can throw bombs. Yeah. You have a shield that you can use to stop enemies. Super you got happy. your sword you can stab with. Super happy they added him to this game. Yeah, he's such a great character with such an arsenal of abilities. It's honestly a lot for me to keep up with. He, I definitely struggle with Link levels, especially in a Kaizo setting, but these players are making it look easy right now. And again, I want to remind you, they have never seen these levels before, which is a testament to their skill and the great level design that you can see here. Oh. Oh, those blue platforms can give you so much momentum and just yeet you right into a spike if you're not careful. <laughs> Nice little stall from Juz Cook there. Right. Oh, that Ooh, some great reads. Hitting Those... that on off lets the shell just get warped out of there. Yeah, and that happens so fast with so much momentum. It's really tough to react to at speeds like that. Char Bunny, if you got another donation for us, we'd love to hear it while they figure this thing out. Absolutely. We have $5 from Colin Alb Cars who says, Panga, you're a legend. Love what you do for the community. Absolutely. Huge legend. I remember watching uh, Panga make levels years and years and years ago. And look at these reads from him here. Gaining that wow. knowledge from his teammate. Oh! Ooh. Oh! Nice turnaround there. 
Aura making the exact same mistake. That's such a tough read to do on the fly like that. Shoujo taking a crack at it here now. We probably have time for another one if you want, Char Bunny. This level is such a tough one to figure out. You got it. We have $10 from BunnyHazard3000 who says, Arter and the SMMM2 community are what make me love Twitch. It's been a blast to watch such talented players. Go team, it's a hat, our love. Yeah, in the Link custom, there's a lot of inputs for each of these. I think you hold up to uh, get a bomb on or something. And, yeah, I think uh, you have to hold up and press one. Yeah, hold up like and that. press yeah, Y. There's just... multiple inputs just to even make these things happen. Yep. Which is tough to do when you're already trying to navigate left and right and up and down your jumps. Truly impressive to watch. Oh! <clears throat> and he can ground pound as well, too, which can have really fun interactions with the environment there. I think this is definitely one of the tougher levels, and I think there's a reason why it's definitely the final here. Shout out to Big Red Boy again for curating this fantastic list of oh, levels. There stop. are also other creators that uh, made wonderful levels as well that we just weren't able to fit them all in, but shout out to everybody who uh, took part in this level making process. These were all made specifically for this event. Absolutely. And Orator with the absolute five nice. hit, instead of stabbing it, he in there. locks it oh, with Oh, Panga right behind him. Panga as well, checkpoint. This is neck and neck. You love to see it. Oh, took some nice damage read. off those spikes. Oh, and he got pushed off as well. These players are so in sync right now. Blocking the laser with the shield. Yep, taking a little chance there, all right. Timing the pow. Oh, that's tough, oh. he just got pushed off. That's a tough one, Juz. Nice read from Shoujo with the bomb, makes it through the gates. Incredible. Shoujo with some amazing progress here. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Into a corner potentially. Oh, oh the oh, save. Oh my gosh. That is such a tough pixel window she hit there. Yeah. And then what's happening next are the reads. And just like that, oh, the pipe again in. with another checkpoint. Tanuki Dan with the same save as well. And then Shoujo in the final boss fight, it looks like. She's got Bowser to contest with here. Oh, nice try, Dan. Really good run. All right, you've got Bowser shooting fire at you. You've got the blue Mecha Koopa shooting lasers. You've yep. got a claw up there. So you yep. want to hit these POWs so that the munchers on the right over there uh, go away and have the stump fall on Bowser. Oh, okay. And looks like just like nice. that, JoJo's made it happen. And that's it right Incredible. there, folks. That's the W. Team, it's a face coming in clutch. Well done. Absolutely incredible by all the racers here. Arts around it out. Congratulations. Shoujo, the MVP. Shoujo. <laughs> looks like you got to pay up, buddy. Yeah, looks like I owe 50 bucks over here, big red boy. Oh, my gosh. You picked the right one. <laughs> Congratulations, racers. That was an incredible race. I want to say thank you so much to all of the racers for coming out and donating their time and their skills to this fantastic event. Thank you also to the creators for making these levels. Uh, such wonderful, wonderful pieces of work here. The level judges and the level... Uh, Playtesters all had a ton of work going into all this whole thing to make this happen. Uh, the GDQ platform for allowing us to showcase this fun game to you guys. Thank you so much for the donos to Doctors Without Borders. And thank you all to the viewers so much for coming through and supporting this game. This has been such a ton of fun. So happy to be here and share this moment with all of you. Thank you so, so much. Round of applause for all of you. And Big Red Boy, thank you to you for sharing this uh, moment up here with me. What a fun time we had. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Let's hear it one more time for our racers. Pangea Panga, Jaws Cook, Carl Sagan 42, Arthur, Jojo, and Tanuki Dan. Congratulations. That was absolutely incredible. It is so hard to believe it was their first time seeing all of those levels. Thank you so much for that phenomenal showcase. I think this donation sums it up. We have $11.11 .11 from Demise who says, we are all having fun. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. And to help everyone catch their breath, we are going to a short break, but we'll be back very, very soon. So stick around.
Welcome back, everyone. You're watching Summer Games Done Quick 2022, and we are raising money for Doctors Without Borders. I want to take a second to update everyone on our bonus incentive. We are at $92,000 out of the $200,000 that we need for that extra bonus Pokemon run. Let's go, everyone. Keep in mind, we only have one game left to meet that. We only have our next game, Super Mario 64, to make that happen. So keep those donations coming in. We have $50 from Icy Snacks, who says, so excited to see Simply back at GDQ after everything he's accomplished in the last couple of years. Good luck. That'll be for our next runner coming up. That is our next run. Before we get there, though, let's take a small moment to hear a word from our sponsors. Thank you so much to Fangamer. Fangamer is a video game merchandise company with shipping worldwide. So wherever you are, they can ship to you. Sales of GDQ merch benefits MSF, which is why we're all here raising money. So it's a fantastic win. You get awesome merch. The charity gets your support. If you'd like to check out their collection, go to www.fangamer.com slash collections slash games hyphen done hyphen quick. That's fangamer.com slash collection slash games done quick. And by the way, just during those short breaks, we raised $94,000 out of the 200000 That number is climbing. I want to see it skyrocket. And it's thanks to more and more donations. We have $1,000 from Hyperlinks who says... Right, yeah, that's a great one. Most of the TV I watch every night is the VOD of GDQ events on YouTube. The whole thing. By the time I get to the end of one playlist, another event or two has happened for me to watch. I've always meant to donate when there's actually one on, so here you go. Thanks for all the fantastic entertainment over the years. Greetings from the past for when this event goes up on YouTube. Smiley face. And a reminder, all of our donations are for a fantastic cause. We are raising money for Doctors Without Borders. Doctors Without Borders, or MSF, is an international medical humanitarian aid organization. Part of MSF's mission is to speak out publicly when their teams witness extreme acts of violence against individuals or groups, or when access to life-saving medical care is hindered. The decision to do so is always guided by their mission to alleviate suffering, protect life and health, and to restore respect for human beings and their fundamental human rights. In 1999, MSF was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in recognition of its pioneering humanitarian work around the world. So this is absolutely a fantastic cause to be supporting, and it means so much to see all of you out here supporting it. We have $50 from Stealthy Dragon who says, more SGDQ, shut up and take my money. Thank you so much. We also have $100 from Omniscient Crow who says, it's a face wins. Here's some more dollars. Thank you so, so much. We're now at 97,000, by the way, out of the 200,000 for that Pokemon run. Keeping an eye on that, it keeps going upwards. This is wonderful. We also have $50 from Desiree who says, $50 for Shoujo? $50 for Shoujo! Go Team It's a Face, congrats on the win. An awesome performance from Team It's a Hat. What a close and fun race to watch all around. I know that last one was fantastic. Did you all have fun out there watching that? We also have $50 from Clayton who says, Shoujo the goat playing those levels so well. I just had to match the donation for Team It's a Faces win. Thank you so much for matching that donation. We also have $100 from the opposite who says, let's go Saturday. Let's go Saturday indeed. We also have a $2,000 donation 
And that is coming in from Barb, who says, great race, congrats to the entire Mario community for such a great showing. Can we hear one for the level creators for that race too? Those levels were fantastic. We also have $10 from Albeba, who says, much love from Sweden. Thank you so much. Thanks to everyone who's watching from around the world. Whatever time it is where you are, I hope you are hyped, because we have so many great things still coming up. Reminder, we're currently setting up for Super Mario 64, the bonus game that you all donated $300,000 to unlock. And after that, hopefully, we'll have our bonus run of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, if we can get to that $200,000 mark. But we're at $99,000. We can definitely make this happen. All right, and that will be it for me for the marathon, but we still have more marathon to go. Are you excited? Oh, thank you so much. But it's okay, we have Mr. Game and Shout who's going to be coming in. Can we get some hype for him, please? And before. Exactly. And before then, I know you're going to want to see this. We have an interview with some of our runners from the last race. So Kung Fu Fruit Cup, let's hear it from them. Awesome. Thank you, Char Bunny. Hello, I am Kung Fu Fruit Cup. And oh my goodness, what a relay race. I am joined here with the winning team. We've got It's a Face joining me today with Pangea Panga, Carl Sagan, 42, and Shoujo. How are you all feeling after this? It was epic. I loved it. Epic is a great word. How about you, Panga? <laughs> Actually, a little stress. A little stress? Oh, <laughs> I was, no. I was pretty nervous, but... Don't no. be stressed. You did so good. What about you, Shoujo? That was one of the coolest things I've ever done. That was yes. so much fun. Oh, my gosh. Well... <laughs> I mean... It makes sense. You all are amazing, and you did an incredible, incredible job. It was such a fun race. Not only, we started by trading wins. Like, you would trade wins back and forth, so it was really a nail-biter at first. And, of course, it came down to this last level. But you all got that head start. It was really amazing. So we wanted to go into a couple of clips just to be talking about it, just to kind of, like, check out what was going on. So if we can get that first clip up here. This is one of the first, uh, this is the first win of the race. This is, um... Arthur coming in, you know, I'm kind of tempted to say the bald man because <laughs> don't we all? Um, Art coming in with the win, getting that first win. Um, how did you all feel at this point? Um, well, <laughs> it, was, it was a little nervous seeing people going back and forth with the levels and I kind of made it my mission to go back and forth with the bald man specifically, Arthur. <laughs> you know, someone who's truly dominant. Well, but, you uh, know, you all really, ooh. you really did. You had a couple of wins yourself. I know you all kind of traded off wins, which was amazing. We can move into the second one here because we want to go into seeing uh, Shoujo. I believe this is your first, your first win here. Uh, we had some really close points throughout this relay race as well. Um, I don't know how well, you all, how, how well you were able to, you know, maybe look back and forth at this. Or I mean, I assume your focus was just get through the level. I can't see what they're doing. I'm just trying my best, right? Yeah. Uh, it, it, when, it, when it comes down to it, you really just got to focus on the game and, and just, like, if, if you're not focused, you're not going to get anything done. So that's probably priority number one, and there's no glancing or interacting at that point. Yeah, yes, yeah, that absolutely makes sense. And with all that, like, let's say bringing all that into this level, what would you say was, like, something you were taking with you? Or, like, how does your brain move as it's trying to figure out like what's coming next since you're doing these for the first time? Um, a lot of it is, is experience with the game. I have a, a ridiculous amount of time spent in Mario Maker 2 and as you, you know, get that amount of time, you start to understand what sort of obstacles people typically make. And so that experience I feel like really helps uh, when you do races for the first time or levels for the first time like this. Yeah, absolutely. And then would you say that kind of led, that was also like part of your preparation then? Like, did you all have anything that you wanted to, I don't know, add about like preparing on your own or working well, together as a team? Yes. Well, there are some makers where I feel like you can do that pretty easy. And then there's some like, Mang and I don't know, the, you never know what you're going to see ever. Yes. Every single, <laughs> we've been playing this game for years and every single time it's something completely brand new that we've never seen before. I don't know about you guys, we just started launching super fast and like the <laughs> fry bones going crazy. Like, I've never seen that set up before. We've been playing this game forever. So you still have to adapt on the fly to that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. I saw um, Mang's name as the first level, and I was like, oh, man, this is going to be something. Because yeah. Mang makes anything that's possible, so. Uh, would you say that they're one of, like, the most difficult mappers that, like, you have to deal with maybe when playing Mario Maker? I would say they're mo the most spontaneous. Most yeah. spontaneous. Yeah. Okay. that's Yeah, that's definitely a good answer here. So then moving into, like, each of you more individually, what would you say are maybe, like, 
your specialties coming into the team? Like, what would you say maybe you're the best at as you go through Mario Maker? I think I'm pretty good at sight reading. So seeing a low for the first time, um, usually I can kind of predict what I need to do after playing so many of these people's levels. Mm -hmm. So that would probably be my specialty. Sure. What about you, Carl? I would say 50% of the time I can figure out complex setups, and then the other 50% of the time I completely overcomplicate it and have <laughs> no idea. So <laughs> if the RNG is in my favor, it goes great. So, so your, your good RNG would then lead you to, to be able to read a well, com, you know, complex situation. Exactly. Okay. Perfect. What about you, Shojo? I think uh, for the things that I couldn't figure out for myself, it was easy for me to watch my teammates and sort of uh, talk with them and figure out what we had to do next. Yeah. It was, it was nice having the dynamic where we could all just, you know, talk and figure it out together. That was awesome. But I, I almost wish that sometimes they could hear, like, what's going on because we have to have a lot of communication about, like, how to figure out a setup. And sometimes one of us will be like, what is going on here? You know, <laughs> and then, like, Shoujo will tell me how to do it or Pango will tell me how to do it or vice versa. And I think that's a really cool element of these races is the communication that goes on the whole time. Yeah, absolutely agree. And, yes, I think it was also kind of a shame that we couldn't hear. But you had amazing commentators, so that really helped, like, it helped us keep track of what was going on. Um, but you could see, like... The, you could definitely like see the communication you all had together and like it just felt like such a well-bonded like team. You were just, I don't know. It was like, it was very sweet. Like you're all so excited for each other as we were very excited to watch you all, uh, to you all play. So then as a team, like mm -hmm. why it's a hat or fa it's a face, it's a face. I mean, I don't know. You got to ask Todette for that one. <laughs> face, I don't know what to tell you. Ask Todette. <laughs> I love that answer. Stare into the eye. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 my goodness. I love the matching shirts, by the way. I think that was a fantastic choice. So I want to actually take us into the last clip I want to show today. This was um, one of my favorite moments. This was an incredibly close nail-biter section when you were in the boss section. This is between, uh, I believe that's Panga and Ara going head-to-head -head here. And... Um, it was like the whole time during this boss fight, I think it was clipped a little late. That was my bad, my bad. But you could see going into this boss fight there, it was like very, very close. You all were absolutely in sync for most of it. Uh, so I just thought it was like really cool to show off. And then Panka came out with the win. But was this like, what would you say for this kind of level? Like going into like these boss sections, like how do you best get ready for that or deal with that? Well, usually when I tackle boss battles, I kind of see what's going around in my surroundings because boss battles usually just have that one screen. Right. And you can get thrown different obstacles. So I knew from the previous two checkpoints that we're probably doing something with vines and bullet launchers when going back and forth. So I was like, okay, I see a, a coupling here and he's going to throw some things. And at that point, it's just like adapting yeah. to what they're about to do. And just, I guess, trying to survive. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, when it comes to, like, adapting and especially working together as a team, I know you said you had a lot of communication, but what, what are, like, the most, because it's so fast, tagging each other in, what are, are there, like, any terms that you use or anything specific that you're, like, this is the fastest way to relay information? Like, any, like, keywords you use with each other or anything like that? Just knowing that it's a survival <laughs> section is, mm -hmm. I think, conveys everything you need to know for something like that or whatever, but I can't think of anything else. <laughs> I mean, I think just knowing the game makes it really easy to communicate. Like, if I say shield, like, people know what I mean. Like, we had a moment where uh, we didn't know if we could shield the lasers. Yeah. So it was just like, we, we were able to figure that out really fast and just be like, when you get there, just shield. And oh. that, was, that was the whole conversation. Like, yeah. that's all we had to know. That's a perfect example. That's exactly what I'm going for here. Like, having that kind of, like, shield here. Like, would you say there's any other moments where you just sync together really well for, uh, like, taking over somebody's spot? I know. I'm asking. Look, look. We didn't have time to prepare because this is like right after your win. You're coming off of a high right now. It's been amazing. Yeah. Where am I? What just happened? I know. I know. I don't blame you at all. This has been. It, it's, it's just been like so solid to see all of this. Um, going from here, would you say that like you all would try to do more of this together, or like how does it usually work in terms of teamwork? This is the most fun event I've ever done. Like, it always is. I love it so much. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, as long as UDQ ever wants it, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah love like being a part of it anyway. Like, halfway through the race. Let's go. I agree. I agree. Halfway through the race? Yeah, halfway through the race, I almost forgot it was a, a race because I'm so used to playing Mario with these guys. It's just such a blast. Oh, Even if it's, like, friendly competition back and forth. No. I really enjoy these races. Yeah, I mean, it, it really does seem like it is just like a very amicable relationship you all have. And so competition just feels like super natural for you all. Like there's, it's just, you know, it's just a good time. It's just a good time. You know, it kind of takes you, um, 
It's just like, again, like you said, it's like you all working together. I think that's wonderful. Well, I just want to say congratulations again. You all did fantastic. Oh my gosh, I'm sure there's a ton of people here who want to say congratulations to you. So I'm going to let you go do that. But thank you all so much for speaking with me about this. And for all of you watching, it's been amazing. Um, please go follow these three runners. My goodness, go follow all six of them. Oh my goodness, but please. We got Pangea Panga, Carl Sagan 42, and Shoujo. Go look them up. Wonderful Mario Maker content. As for me, I am signing off for the week. Kung Fu Fruit Cup, thank you all so much for joining me. It's been such a pleasure doing interviews and being with my team and with you all. Um, and I appreciate it. We are going to hand it up to, I believe, Game and Shout, who is fantastic. And please enjoy the rest of the marathon. Love you all. What's up, Summer Games Done Quick? I am so glad to be back with you all tonight. Oh, my goodness gracious. This is going to be amazing. This was not guaranteed. I was hoping to come back and be able to host for you again. I didn't know if I was going to be able to do it because I didn't know if we'd get the run in. But you all got the run. SM64. 120 star simply is getting ready for it right now. I am over the moon for this one, but there is still more GDQ to be had. We can make this marathon a little bit longer, and I would love to spend that little bit of extra time with you because right now we have an incentive open. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, any percent. We are at 106, almost 107,000 out of the 200,000 that we need to get that. Y'all, I want it. I want it. I want to be hosting for it. I want to see it happen. Slight concern. I don't want to call it a problem. I don't want to call it an issue, but a slight concern, as you may have heard early in the week. The last time I played a Pokemon game, there were about 151 of them. I know... It's a problem. I'm working to fix it. So while I am very excited to host this run, I'm going to need a real quick catch up on, you know, everything I've missed in the world of Pokemon. So I'm not saying that you have to. I'm not saying this is mandatory. But if you feel like sending in a donation with, you know, some, some speed running Pokefacts, right? Help me learn everything that I'm going to need to know to get this done. You can put that donation towards the incentive, gamesdonequick.com. Head to the donate page, throw in a comment there, teach me what I've been missing. Just do me a favor, don't, don't lie to me. You know, you wouldn't want to give me any false or inaccurate information because, of course, I'm not going to have any idea. So, you know, and, and, and I'm trusting you all with this. I, I am putting my poke knowledge fate in your hands. So, please, we're at 107,000 out of 200,000. We can get it done. You can get it done. Please help us get that added to the marathon.
I'm going to go ahead and get us caught up on some donations here while we are getting re- ready for the next run. I've got a $50 donation here from Lightborn. Huge thanks to the runners and GDQ staff for putting on yet another amazing event. And thanks to the audience, both in person and at home. Here together, we can make a difference. This donation goes towards that Pokemon incentive. It's not over yet. Let's have more GDQ. Thank you so much, Lightborn, for sending that in. I've also got a donation from Kyle the Coder for $1,000. And <laughs> that is awesome. And they say, Pokemons, please. I, I agree. I am in favor of that. We're getting some premonitions of the future here as well. I've got a $5 donation from Indoor Boy. Now, it's, it's going to take the second for me to hear this from the audience, but I'm going to trust you all to back me up on this. $5 from Indoor Boy. $3 million hype! I'm, I'm going to keep I'm going to keep going, but I hope you all got my back there. OK. Oh, I just heard it. That was great. OK, a uh, hundred dollar donation here from Braver Thunder. Let's get this bonus game done. We just crossed one hundred and eight thousand dollars. We've got a little under ninety two thousand dollars left. We can get this done. We might get this done before the run starts. I mean, it could it could happen. Let's work on that. Come on, let's get this going. Some excitement for Elden Ring coming up a little bit later. Mangoat sends in $50. Is this Dog Nation? I, I mean, I, I, guess it's, I guess it's possible. This is, it's, I, who, who am I to judge, really? 